Hey YouTube, it's Dwight and Ty from Mountain Yoda's here to talk about two options for supercharging your third gen Tacoma. The first is the industry leading Magnuson supercharger, which is a root style supercharger. The other you may or may not have heard of is Pro Charger, which is a centrifugal style supercharger. There's benefits both ways, but Ty here decided to go with a Pro Charger for his truck. Why don't you tell us why? Well, here in Colorado, we deal with a lot of adverse weather conditions. We also have some of the world-class trails just outside of our back door. With the predictability of the power curve of the Pro Charger, keeping traction was really important, and that's the behavior of that supercharger itself. With a Magnuson, you have a little bit more instant torque and power, which isn't necessarily great for some of the things that we do on a regular basis. Right, instant torque is gonna tend to break loose off the line a little bit easier. It might be fun as a daily driver, but for this application, if you're off-roading and you're driving in the snow, rain, ice a lot, like here in Colorado, you might not want that. One of the benefits of the Pro Charger is that it's more reliable because the supercharger itself is separate from the engine. It is essentially a belt driven turbo. And we all know if you're pushing more power, you're creating more heat. So the less heat you can generate in this process under your hood, the better and more reliable it'll be. Magnuson and Pro Charger both produce around eight pounds of boost. With the Pro Charger itself, you're gaining more of a 40 or 45% power increase, where with the Magnuson, you're still in the 30, 35% range. With the passes that we have here in Colorado, that extra little percentage goes a long way. Both Magnuson and Pro Charger are around $7,200 out the door in parts. Pro Charger has a couple of options with some polished finishes, which add a couple of dollars. We also like powder coating some of those parts on the Pro Charger, which Ty did green to match some other accents on his truck. And both the Pro Charger and Magnuson are gonna take about 10 hours to install. The average hourly in Colorado for an install is 150 an hour, which is what we charge here at Mountain Yotas. And the install is pretty easy both ways. It really does take about 10 hours. There's not a lot of hiccups you could run into. Um, they're both tuned on a VF tuner platform, which is what we tune stock trucks with, with or without a supercharger on them. And VF is great. It's what all major Toyota tunes are based off of. We do hear feedback from customers that they prefer the tune that comes with the Pro Charger over the Magnuson. Both Magnuson and Pro Charger offer the option of smaller pulley sizes, which will increase your boost to the supercharger itself. You can go to a performance shop, get a dyno, get a custom tune made, and really squeeze every drop of performance out of your truck that you can. That can run you in the thousands to do that, obviously, which isn't included in the price of either one of these superchargers. There's also the option of putting gauges in your truck to measure your boost, to measure your heat, and you can get blow off valves that just sound better and perform a little better. Those valves are gonna run you about 380 to $600 total for the parts. The custom gauges are anywhere between like 200 and 500 dollars. Ty's truck's really heavy and it's a long bed. He has 35 inch tires and we re-geared it to 488s. When we tested the zero to 60 prior to installing the Pro Charger, it ran exactly what a stock Tacoma is supposed to run, which is 10.95 seconds. We're gonna go out and drive Ty's truck now that the Pro Charger's installed and we're gonna test the new zero to 60 time and discuss the overall feel of driving a truck with a Pro Charger installed. The distinguishable difference between the Magnuson and the Pro Charger, you'll notice that the Magnuson has a little bit more power and torque off the line, whereas the Pro Charger, it stays consistent all the way to your red line. And actually, again, at that 35, 3800 RPM range, it really starts to boost. That's when I feel like these Tacomas really need the power anyways, is that higher RPM range. Getting on and off the highway, it's a completely different truck. You have zero issues merging into traffic and getting up to 65, 70 miles an hour. Whereas before, it's not like it was completely slow. It's not a Yugo, but it definitely wasn't a Ferrari either. We've kind of moved one step closer to the Ferrari. Throttle response is fantastic. I haven't noticed a big decrease in fuel mileage. It's actually stayed relatively the same, with the exception of when I really push the pedal to the floor. This thing really starts to boost 
and get significant power increases right around that 35, 3800 RPM range. And that's when you're running into that full eight pounds of boost. You notice the difference, it's a little more snappy. Boy, does it get up and go on the highway. We deal with a lot of heavy trucks with big oversized tires all the time. And as a result of that, we specialize in doing re-gears. And really a re-gear is the answer, whether you go with a Magnuson or a Pro Charger, it's the answer to fill in the gap where they kind of fall short. But that's why we kind of prefer the way the low end torque feels with the Pro Charger over the Magnuson because you don't really need to rip a truck off the line unless that's your goal. Our goals are different as we've discussed. We want a truck to respond in a way that is natural. We don't want to rip it completely off the line unless you turn off traction control and you're doing it on purpose, right? We don't want to accidentally break the tires loose in these ever. Nine point nine five shaved a second off on a super heavy truck. Saying you shaved a second off a zero to sixty that started at ten point nine five doesn't seem like a lot. You got to remember this is you know a really heavy truck on a V six three point five liter platform. A second one Mississippi, if you're at the finish line of a race, is a big difference. That's several uh, car lengths. One huge thing to me, and I'm sure Ty, you agree, it feels a lot faster than it did before. It pulls. It just feels so much faster. I'm sure driving it, what do you think? The thing feels like a beast. Once the boost really kicks in, it's unbelievable the torque that's being distributed to these wheels. I really love that I made the decision to go with Pro Charger itself. Their customer service has been unprecedented. They've answered every question and concern that we've had as a dealer to make us confident in offering these to our customers themselves. Honestly, I've fallen back in love with my truck. It's absolutely amazing. I can't wait to drive it every day. If you're interested in supercharging your Tacoma, hit us up here at Mountain Yotas and check out some of our other videos right here. See you later. <laughs>